What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel X-Man & Co. Today we're going to make an upside down pizza pot pie, Chicago style, in the Weber. Stay tuned. Right guys, we've got a few ingredients in front of us that you're going to need to make this upside down pizza pot pie. We've got about 1.2 pounds, that's half a kilo of mince. We've got a selection of spices here, some mushrooms, a few vegetables and our dough. I might leave in the description somewhere for you and up here the recipe for the dough homemade dough which you can do at your own convenience guys if you haven't yet if you like what we're doing here our channel please subscribe smash that button make sure you get notified when we upload new video with that said let's get straight into it this upside down pizza pot pie you could do in your pizza oven. Most guys might not have access to a pizza oven and therefore that's the reason why we're doing it in the Weber today. We're just going to add some olive oil to our skillet, get it nice up to temperature. We're going to add our red onions and our garlic. Then the rest of the veggies. We're going to saute the onions. Add our mince. Start to slowly introduce all our spices. And then our mushrooms, right to the end, maybe the last five minutes or so, we don't want to overcook them. And then we're good to go. Normally what we would do is do this filling over four to six hours on the stove, just so that all the flavors really get in there and breaks down the mince a little bit and it's just amazing. But at this stage, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep it maybe to an hour maximum and then we're ready to do our upside down pizza pot pies so there's a little bit of tomato paste just to elevate everything it's all about elevation isn't it so i tried to make a fire just you know majority on the one side so that if need be, you can move your skillet to a cooler area. Right, so we're going to let this simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. Then we'll have a look what we have, eh? It's been about 35 minutes, so I think it's time to add our mushrooms. You don't need a lot of mushrooms. This is entirely up to you. We're going to keep them whole, so this is what we want to do. We're going to give it another 10-15 minutes guys and then this filling should be good for our upside down pizza pot pie. Just under an hour guys, let's take our filling out. Just going to roll our dough out. You want it slightly bigger than the bowl that you're going to use and not too thick either. Eh? Guys, I'm using spray and cook, you can use butter, oil, whatever you need to. But we need to line these bowls so that whatever we put in here, that it's not going to stick. I also do the outside, upside down, pizza pot pie. Your dough is going to go on the outside as well. So we're going to line the whole bowl with mozzarella. And you know what, there's no rule or law how much cheese you should use, but we all know more is better. Don't be shy guys, put plenty in there. It is a pizza pot pie. Then all you need to do is just stretch it nicely over this pot. And I like to pinch it on the side, make sure that it goes smaller. Let me show you what it looks like. There you go, yeah. I do that on both of them. I don't want it to be too far down, so I just cut it like that. But I'm quite happy with the rest. I think there's another part there that we can could just cut out. There you go, that's quite easy and straightforward. Let's do the same here. It doesn't have to be straight. It's just because we're cutting it with a knife now, that's what we get. Right, two upside down pizza pot pies. Chicago style in the Weber, in the making. 
Right, we're going to leave this for about 20 minutes and then most probably time to enjoy. 20 minutes later. That moment of truth when we're going to taste this upside down pizza pot pie Chicago style in the Weber. Always be careful. We're working with hot food here. There you go. This is how I would do it. Beautiful. Look at that. This looks good. Shall we dig in? I think we should. Right, for presentation purposes, I'm going to cut straight through the middle so we can see what we have here. Look what we have here, guys. How's that? Eh? Look at the cheese. Look at our filling. Juicy. It's just absolutely beautiful. I think let's cut a piece there. It's crunchy as well. You guys can hear that. Cheers, boys and girls. Wow. Absolutely divine. See how it's pulling? Look there. Guys, this is amazing. I should actually start to dig in. You know the story, boys. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Don't miss out on a thing. We're here to have fun. See you on the next one. Cheers.